Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have episode two of my uh, review, unboxing and setting up of the 10 litre uh, Fluvel spec fish tank. Uh, sorry it's been so long between episodes. Uh, since buying the tank I've been super busy. Um, haven't had a chance to really uh, get stuck back into it but uh, now I'm ready to rock and roll and uh, today we're going to be uh, giving the whole thing a bit of a clean. I'm going to be uh, just touching up the sharp bit of the lid that I discovered in the last episode. I have some files ready to go for that. Uh, I have had the uh, filter media uh, sitting in my uh, fight, other fighter tank, uh, getting some good healthy bacteria on there. Uh, and I also picked up a small sort of nano heater uh, for the filtered compartment. And I'm going to be replacing the charcoal that comes with the tank with some uh, filter wool. So I bought some, uh, some fresh filter wool and a little bag uh, to keep it in just to stop it uh, sort of coming out into the foam filter. Uh, so yeah, basically uh, today I'm going to be setting it all up and uh, putting some water in it. And then I'm going to be letting it sit for... Um, Perhaps a few days uh, until the weekend, then I'm going to head off and get some decor for it. So uh, the next episode will be, uh, yeah, having a look at uh, some, uh, perhaps some Anubis on some wood or something like that, or some driftwood that I find, um, and we'll chuck that in. Uh, and then uh, it'll be a case of uh, just letting it sit and get ready for the, uh, the new occupant, or perhaps the occupant that I already have in my other tank. Uh, so... I'll just give you a quick look at the uh, filter media I've got uh, sitting in my other tank. Yeah, so here is my other uh, fighting fish tank. My uh, little fighter here. I've moved him into a, uh, another room temporarily so I can set up the new tank uh, where he was. Uh, but as you can see, here's the bag of the sort of uh, noodles that came with the tank. So that's been in here now for uh, I think maybe four or five days. Uh, getting some of the bacteria from his tank on there just to give the filter a bit of a, uh, a start-up Okay, now here's the filter in question. So I am going to be taking out the uh, charcoal that comes with it I'm not going to be uh, using that uh, I'm just going to be using the filter sort of um, as is with the noodles and the uh, filter wool uh, Just find the wool gives it just a little bit more polishing for the water uh, which I mean the charcoal sort of does in itself uh, but as the charcoal always has to be replaced the wool I can leave in there for quite some time uh, the noodles I won't be replacing obviously that's going to house the bacteria um, but I can always take out the wool change it over uh, and put it back in so uh, my first step right now is I'm going to be uh, taking off this sharp sort of uh, edge here from the mold with some files and we'll have a look uh, if I can get it nice and clean okay so that uh, worked a treat just ran the uh, one of my files across here got rid of all that sharp edge which is just something I was just perhaps worried about one day uh, handling the lid or with feeding or cleaning sort of giving myself a bit of a uh, nasty scratch uh, that's just one thing to be mindful um, of if you're setting this up with a young kid maybe just just double check for any sharp edges on the um, the mold line there it was quite easy to fix but um, yeah, a, a small kid might uh, sort of give themselves a bit of a nasty cut on the finger or something. Uh, besides that, the uh, yeah, the lid looks really good. Um, now what I'm going to do is give everything a really good uh, wash out with some um, uh, some warm soapy water, and then give it a really good flush, uh, including everything from the heater. Uh, I'm going to ma make a little bag of wool, wash that out. Uh, the, give the sponge a good flush, uh, the pump, the hose, um, and of course the tank itself, just to get off any dust from manufacturing. Um, the tube here is quite uh, a little bit dirty, uh, so is the tank. Um, not too bad, you could probably just give it a rinse, but I just want to make sure everything's going to be off there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so actually before I do that, I will just take you through my choice of heater. Now I usually use uh, an adjustable heater, uh, but this time around I thought I'd go something uh, that's not adjustable, but uh, much smaller. Um, so I've bought an Aqua 125 watt 
um, nano tank. It's preset. Um, I do have a digital thermometer that I'm going to keep an eye on the temperature and sort of see how uh, steady that is and obviously how hot and cold it gets. Um, right now we're sort of at the time of year where it can get quite warm. Today is about 30 degrees. Uh, and being Melbourne, of course, the next day can be uh, 14 degrees. So uh, it's probably a good time to give a bit of a test out, see what kind of fluctuations I get. Um, but it's quite a cool little uh, heater, and that's going to fit quite easily in here uh, with my pump. Um, the reason I got the smaller size one is I was a bit worried there wouldn't be too much room. But uh, now I've sort of test put them in together, there's actually plenty of room. So if that doesn't work... Um, I'll just switch over to my traditional adjustable heater, which I think is a 25 watt anyway. So um, this uh, keeps it at 26 plus or minus one. Um, I think for a tank this size, which is of course the 10 litre, don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Um, but uh, only one way to find out. So I'm going to give everything a bit of a uh, wash and a rinse out, and then we're going to put it all together and sort of just have a look how it looks uh, all fully assembled then we're going to put some water in it. Okay so I've given everything a really good wash and rinse off. Uh, this is sort of how it uh, has come up now assembled. Uh, it looks really nice all black and uh, the cords uh, just pop out the top here. Uh, now there is a bit of water around but uh, I'm going to be drying it off and then moving it to uh, the location where I'm going to be setting it up. Um, just to, you know, if you are a young younger person, perhaps make sure you check with uh, mum and dad about uh, setting up something like this as uh, there can be some sharp edges and you don't want to be getting any electrical stuff uh, wet or in the water. Um, and just check with uh, mum and dad or an older sibling perhaps uh, that it's okay uh, about the position uh, where you're going to put the tank because it is going to be a little bit heavy. It's going to be 10 litres. Uh, so it has to be something that can support the tank also. Um, the only thing I'm a little bit unhappy with is the uh, light fixture is just a little bit off center. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist like that. Um, I tried to sort of manually bend it with my hand back a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to give it another attempt uh, just to lever it back a little bit. Uh, but besides that, uh, yeah, it looks really good. So uh, I'm going to have a crack at just uh, manipulating that light a little bit. Uh, then I'm going to move the dry off the tank and put it in position ready for some water. Okay, so just before I do move it, while I've got a bit of uh, proper light here to show you, uh, here's the rear compartment with the pump down the bottom, and I've got my uh, nano uh, heater just to the left here, and of course the uh, inlet tube here uh, comes with a cool little adjustable nozzle, which is going to be very handy, uh, especially considering we're going to have a... Uh, fighting fish in here which they don't appreciate strong flows so I have the pump on the lowest setting um, and then we're also going to try and adjust this to get some uh, get the flow a little bit smaller um, now one thing I also have done is I've drilled a small hole which you won't be able to see here uh, but in the very top of the tube below the elbow just to give a little bit of outlet into this area here um, I've watched online, a lot of people say the water gets a bit stagnant up here, so I'm hoping to get, I've only drilled a very, very small hole, uh, hopefully just a little bit of flow to come out here and give some circulation around the heater um, and the surface area here. Uh, the pump should be sucking water down anyway, um, so I don't think it's going to be too big an issue. Um, and look, if, it, if the flow is too much that comes out of here, I can always block it up with just a, a little bit of uh, aquarium silicon. So I don't think that's completely necessary. Um, but it's just something I'm going to try. Um, another thing I've seen online is a lot of people um, block up. There's also a small, probably not going to show up here either, a small inlet hole here. Now, depending on what you keep in here, uh, that could be a little bit of an issue. Uh, if, if you perhaps shrimp keeping in this, uh, baby shrimp will be sucked through there <laughs> without a doubt. Um, Small fry from fish uh, would definitely get sucked through there. Um, I have seen people silicon it up. Now, I think that's a bit of a bad idea with this tank. Um, the reason for that uh, little hole is that uh, if the water level does drop below the inlet vent here, um, it will still suck water through the hole. So let's say you go away 
uh, for a couple of days or a week uh, holiday. Um, I presume this this tank may evaporate a little bit of water. So uh, if you cover up that hole and the water drops below the vents up here, all of a sudden you're going to have uh, a pump pumping water until it uh, yeah basically can't pump anymore. Um, so I think it would be a very bad idea to cover up that small hole. What I would suggest is perhaps getting some uh, little stainless steel mesh that you can grow moss on, uh, which you're probably going to be using anyway if you do have shrimp, um, and just cover up that hole. Um, you, could, you could perhaps silicon the mesh over the top. That way uh, nothing's going to get sucked in uh, except something very, very small which is uh, probably the, the dirt and stuff that you want sucked up anyway. And, and larger uh, fish or objects aren't going to be sucked in. So I'd be very wary uh, of covering that hole. Um, yeah, I, I have seen that online before. I just thought I'd uh, just give that a bit of a uh, warning. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to uh, move this into position. I'm going to fully uh, set it up and we can have a look. Okay, so here is the completed tank all set up. Uh, I have to say, already I'm very happy with it. Uh, the light is uh, more than powerful enough. Um, it also has a nighttime mode, which is great. Um, I will be using that uh, quite often. So you can just uh, flick it on and off uh, manually there, which is great. Um, I guess if you also uh, were really obsessed, you could chuck a, uh, a little timer on there. Um, on the power plug there to get the uh, uh, get the light coming on at uh, certain times of the day. Um, for me though, I think that'll be fine. Uh, so yes, yeah, so there's that little uh, gap that I was talking about. Uh, it is quite a substantial gap. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything to worry about for me. Um, but if you if you are keeping smaller fish uh, or shrimps, uh, perhaps consider covering that up with some mesh. I think that could be a good idea. Um, look, if you're not going to breed um, the fish in there or anything, then it's probably not going to be too bad a thing. Uh, it's a really good size. I think a fighter is going to have uh, yeah, a nice amount of room in there, and I'm going to be able to put in some pretty good decor. Um, I did adjust the uh, outflow nozzle um, to sort of push up to get a bit of surface movement. There is a bit of flow in there, but I think once I put uh, uh, some some uh, timber and or plants in there, uh, it's going to break it up quite nicely. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, overall uh, looks really cool, and I'm quite excited to um, yeah uh, see you in the next episode where I'm going to uh, put some decor in. So probably just some a uh, little bit of driftwood and uh, some plants, maybe some moss. I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, I'll pop down to my uh, local fish shop on the weekend and uh, see what they have. Uh, so thanks for watching this episode. Um, this is episode two. Uh, and, and sorry again for the gap between episode one and two, but uh, yeah, I've been uh, quite busy. But uh, oh, so excited to see this finally set up. Um, I'll put in my uh, AquaSafe uh, water conditioner now. And uh, we'll leave this sitting for a while. And uh, in the next episode, I'll see you with some, uh, some decor and some uh, interesting news about what I've chosen. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.